Most editors waste time downloading colored JPEGs to create backgrounds or shapes. That is the slow way. Today, I'm going to show you how to build viral 3D glass icons using only text layers inside CapCut PC. This method creates a fully reusable template where you can swap colors and logos in seconds. So once you are inside CapCut, you will go to the text tab and add a text layer to the timeline. Delete the default text and open the emoji panel. The shortcut keys for this are mentioned in the description. Now here you want to look for square or rectangle icons. I am choosing this square one and I will increase its font size to full. After that, I will create a compound clip of this layer. Now, if I want to change the color of the layer, you can open the compound clip, select the text layer, and change its color. Our primary layer is ready, and now we want a secondary color layer. For that, we will copy this and again change the color to our liking as we did before. Now, we want to fill the whole screen ratio. For this, we can increase the size of this compound clip to fill the screen. I forgot to do it for the base layer, so I will also increase its size in the same way. Now we are going to play with masking, and trust me, if you learn this technique here, you can use it in many places. I have selected the secondary layer, and in the video tab, I have opened the mask tab. From here, click on add mask and select the circle one. Now scroll down and increase the feather to full, and this will give you a perfect gradient background. If you want to change this color, you can still do it by entering the compound clip of the secondary layer and selecting a new color. Instead of finding it on the internet, this way it's very easy to create any background inside CapCut PC. Now we are going to create our 3D logo animation by using the same techniques we just learned. For that, I am importing this logo here. Here's another important tip for you if you want to increase the duration of your background you would need to open the compound clips and increase the duration of the text layer before you can increase the duration of the compound clip itself. As you can see, I have increased the duration using this method. For the logo, we will use the auto removal option to remove its background. Now our logo icon is ready and we need a white glow around it. We will again copy the base layer and paste it below the logo layer. Change the color of the text layer inside this compound clip to white. We have a clean white background ready now. Now carefully focus here because you can get confused. We are adding another mask on this white background layer and will adjust it to the boundary of the logo icon. We will adjust the corner rounding to match the icon as well. When you match the border, give the white layer a feather so that it feels like a glow. Our glow is ready, and now we are on to our final step of animating it. Just focus for some more time and you will master this technique of masking very well. We are creating a compound clip again for this glow layer. And just wait, it will make sense. So we created this compound clip again because we want to add another masking effect to it. Again, from the Mask tab, under the Video tab, we will add a mask, but this time we will select the Split Mask. Notice how this Split Mask is making the edges very sharp, so we will add Feather to make it feel blended at the edges. Just the final steps now. Click this keyframe icon to add a keyframe at the start of this layer. Now place the pointer at the new location and change this rotation value. You can also use this rotation handle to rotate the split mask. Just look at how smoothly our glow layer is now animating around the logo. To make it look more like a glow, we will add a glow effect from the effects tab. You can also add this to the logo layer and adjust the parameters so that it also looks glowing.
Now here is a trick to make this a template and reuse it in any other project. Select all layers and click Save as Preset. Now, let's say I have opened a new project and I want to add this animation effect. I will open the Presets tab and you will find this saved as a compound clip. If you want to split it again into layers, just click on the Undo Compound Clip option. Let's say you change the logo. You can just replace the logo icon. You can even change the color of the glow. Lastly, if you want to speed up the rotation speed of this glowing 3D icon, open the mask section for this glow layer again and increase the rotation at the second keyframe. Now your animation is speeding up. Now I have cleaned the timeline by creating more compound clips and let's add an in animation to this glowing 3D icon. I hope you have learned a new way to look at text layers in this tutorial. But remember, a great visual asset is only half the battle you need professional audio to match. I have created a massive sound effects pack for you which contains more than 3,000 plus hand-picked sound effects. These are the only sounds you will ever need for any project, saving you hours of searching. Don't miss the Black Friday sale going on right now. Check the link in the description to grab them, and I'll see you in the next video.